Hey guys, we're excited to announce that we have a thousand dollar robot drill creating contest going on for both domestic and international players. So we want to find out who can create the most creative drills on the power pong robot and demonstrate it for us. So today I thought I would use the app here for the power pong 5000 and teach you how to create some drills. So once you open up the app, you hit connection and you hit connect and instantly you're connected to Bluetooth. Now keep in mind, this contest is available for the Power Pong 5000, 2001, and 3001. Okay, so we've got a series of drills here. So the point in the contest is to make sure that people are continuing to create new drills as opposed to just using the standard drills, all right? So to use a standard drill, all we're gonna do is click that and we're gonna start it. We set it for the number of balls per minute that we want and we hit start and there is our forehand warm up. If we wanna to go to backhand, we can just drag that ball to backhand or we can hit mirror and bang, the ball goes right to the backhand. So it's extremely easy to use the current drills that are currently there. But like I said, the contest is designed to see if you can create some new drills. So what we're going to do is we're gonna create our own new drill today, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a, uh, a backspin ball to the forehand. Okay, so we're just gonna hit that. We've got a fairly slow speed. We're gonna go like this, and we're gonna change it to backspin. Now you see when I slid it down here, how that turned kind of a, a pink peaches color. That's a backspin. We've got no side spin and no delay. Let's just sample it. Actually raise the trajectory up a little bit. Let's just sample it to see how we're doing. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got a backspin ball to the forehand, and then let's do, uh, let's do two topspin balls to the backhand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone that ball, slide it over there, and we're gonna change the spin to top spin. Now see how that turned green? Let's just sample it and see what we're at. That's pretty good, okay? Now we're gonna clone ball number two, and let's slide it a little bit over here so you've got a little bit of movement going on. All right, and let's, uh, let's sample ball number three. All right, so we've just created a very simple three ball drill. You've got a backspin ball to the forehand, and then you've got a topspin ball to the wide backhand, and then kind of a topspin ball to the middle backhand. All right, so we're gonna hit the X, and then we're gonna play it out to see if it works. Backspin to the forehand, and then two topspins to the backhand. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now I'd like to have a little bit of a break um, after that third ball. So I want it to be a backspin and two top spins and then a little break to recover. So that's what the delay feature is for. So all I do is hit number three and then for delay, I hit minus 75. And now you'll see that there's a little break. So you've got a backspin ball to the forehand, two top spin balls to the backhand, and then a break. And then again, the same drill again, okay? So all you do once you create the drill is you can email it or text message it to me. So my email is tt at samsondabina.com. My text message um, is 330-949-9230. Or you could possibly even post it on YouTube and then just email me the link. That might even be easier for you. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the drill. Would you like to save it? Yes, I'm gonna save it. And let's give it a name. We'll call this live stream because I'm doing it while I'm on live stream. Done. And now you can see it says live stream up there at the top. I'm going to make sure I save that name. And then I'm going to send it to my boss. So all I do is hit share drill. And I can either text message it or I can email. I'm going to choose to email. And then I do Attila at powerpong.org. And then I'm gonna title it test. And you can see that file goes. And all I do is hit send. And then he's gonna receive the drill so he can test it out uh, for himself. All right, that's all you do. It's very, very easy. Uh, PowerPoint 2001 and 3001 are also fairly easy. And then as you can see, the PowerPoint 5000 also has the control box. So if you prefer not to use the app, you could use, uh, you could use the control box instead. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna create a little bit more of a complex drill this time. So let's go. I'd like it to be a really, really low, low serve. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna actually lower the head angle. 
not the head angle, but kind of the neck. So watch as I do this, I'm gonna be loosening it up and I'm gonna actually lower the entire robot. This is a really unique feature that this robot has, is you can get different trajectories if you have different heights that the ball is being thrown from. So check this out. shoot from a much lower trajectory now. This is gonna allow us to serve a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this ball, we're gonna drag it up here, and we're gonna create a backspin serve. So when you scroll down this way, it's backspin. That's no, uh, that's no spin right there. See where it's white? And then you go this way where it's green, that's top spin. All right, we've got a very low trajectory. Let's just sample it to see how our backspin serve is doing. Try it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna move the bounce back just a little bit that way, and we're gonna to tone down the speed just a little bit. Let's sample it again, see how we're doing. Hey, that's really good. See how low and short that is? So if you want a lower serve by lowering the actual robot, you can get a much lower serve. Let's increase the speed a little bit, see what happens. Okay, that's pretty good. So we've got a very low, short backspin serve there. And then let's clone ball number one, and let's make that second one Let's go with a deep backspin deep to the middle. Let's sample that to see what we're at. Uh, I don't really like the trajectory. I want it to be a little bit lower, so I'm gonna do this. Let's sample that one more time. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it's not a real, real deep one. It's kind of a floaty backspin type of ball. A fairly heavy spin, it's minus three. And then we're gonna clone that. We're gonna do a series of topspin balls. So let's clone that and let's go with Top spin there, a uh, little lower trajectory. Let's sample that. That's pretty good. Let's clone it and we'll do one way over here. Let's sample that. And I don't want it quite that far over, and I, but I want it a little bit faster. Let's try that again. Okay, that's pretty good, except for the fact that it hit my racket. And let's clone it again. Let's do a yeah, let's do a second ball to the forehand. Sample. That's pretty good. All right, now let's do a couple smashes after that. So we're gonna clone ball number five, and we're gonna do two smashes right there. Now with the smash, we're gonna want that speed all the way up. Actually, let's not do a smash. Let's do kind of a driving loop with maximum spin and decent speed. Let's try this one. Ooh, that's pretty good. Maximum spin. Let me just test that ball quality to see how spinny that ball is. Oh yeah, it's definitely spinny. Okay, so we're gonna actually throw two of those balls right there. Let's test that second ball to see how it's looking. There we go. And after ball number seven, we're gonna put the delay all the way down. That way we have a little bit of a break. So if you want to see or sample any of the balls, you can just check them right here. And if you want to change any of the order, all you do is take the ball and then drag it here or drag it down or whatever you want for the order. Okay. So what we've got is we've got a short backspin serve here, a deep push to the middle, a topspin ball to the backhand, two topspin balls to the forehand, and then two very, 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 very spinny loops deep to the backhand. So... Let's check it out to test our drill making abilities. All right, short backspin serve. We're gonna step in and push. Deep backspin ball, top spin, top spin, top spin, and then two fast ones with a lot of spin. Okay, and then a little rest, and then again, short backspin, deeper backspin, top spin, top spin, top spin, and then two really spinny balls. Okay. So you can look at it and say, hey, I think I wanna tweak this a little bit or tweak that a little bit. The one particular ball that I wanna adjust is that backspin. Um, after it does the short serve, that next one, I would like it to go just a little bit deeper. So you see where it says speed nine? I'm just gonna increase it a little bit to speed 11 and then sample it. See how it throws a little bit deeper? How about a little bit more? How about putting it at a 12? There we go, that's better. Maybe it's a little too deep. Let's go ahead and do 11 and sample it one more time. Good, excellent. 
I'd also like these other balls to be just a little bit faster. So here I am just tweaking it. I'm turning all these balls to speed 13 instead of speed 11. And instead of sampling each one, let's just start the drill again. Let's see how we're doing. Short backspin serve, deep backspin ball, topspin to the backhand. Two topspins to the forehand, and then two extreme spin balls to the backhand. There we go. All right, now, as I've said many times before, we're gonna make sure that we save the drill. So, here's our drill. Let's call it um, seven ball. Uh, let's call it ball, seven ball sequence. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put a dash, and then we'll say low height setting. All right. And then as we did on the last one, after we have it saved here, we're going to also send it off for testing. So we're going to do a share drill. Now we could do text message, we could airdrop it, we could actually send it Facebook Messenger, we can send it through WhatsApp, Google Drive, but we're going to choose to send it through email. And again, I'm gonna send it to my boss, Attila Malik. All right, we're good. And we're gonna call it low head setting, okay? And then all we do is hit send, and there it goes. So the thing I really like about it is the fact that coaches and students, they can easily, with the share option, they can easily share drills back and forth, which makes it really good as far as sending out homework. Personally, I'm gonna be creating dozens and dozens of drills, and our hope is that with the app, we're gonna be able to continue to update you with new and exciting drills. But for right now, for this contest, for this month, the main thing that I would love to see is I'd love to see you creating drills. So instead of me just creating drills, I've decided that, hey, I'm going to incentivize you a little bit and you get either a $1,000 gift card or $500 cash for creating the best drill. So as I talked about earlier in this video, if you've created a really, really good drill or you can create a good drill, the thing that I would like is I would like it to be game-like. So you're mixing different types of spins, you're playing with it, you're demonstrating the correct timing and the correct strokes, and the video should be about one to two minutes long. And there's some other bonus things that you can do if you add a voiceover or you add music or multiple camera angles or slow motion replay, you even get bonus credit for that. So if you guys are interested in entering the contest, that'd be a huge help to me. I'd love many players from around the world to enter. Make sure you check out my website, samsondavina.com for all the info. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about the PowerPong 5000, PowerPong 3001, or PowerPong 2001. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.